Right, I'm off on another adventure. I've got a coronavirus booster in Bishop's Cleves this morning. And um, in a few months I'm going to get a bus pass, which I absolutely intend to use to the max. Um, so I consulted the stagecoach app and it's left me totally confused. I thought I had to get the 43A, which is this one here. I just asked the bus driver and he said it doesn't go to Bishop's Cleve. Um, looking at the stagecoach app and the sort of uh, the info that's available on the web, it's all sort of totally contradictory and very, very confusing. So I'm hanging out here by the bus stop. Apparently there's a 43T that I've got to get to the bus driver. And according to the app, that's due at nine. And it is, that's a couple of minutes away. I've got a feeling the app I'm going to, the bus I'm going to be using is called my motorbike. Still, we'll see how it goes. It's funny how I, like, I've never had anything to do with Bishop's Cleave. And it's come up twice in my life, two days apart. I went to the biker's night the other night. Sort of Bishop's Cleave, and now I'm trying to get there on the bus. And I've never had anything to do with the place, so it's sort of strange how it all works out. But here we go. I'm going to wait some more. Miracle. Um, the correct bus turned up, 43P, and I'm actually on this. <laughs> Which, uh, yeah. I'm going to be hanging around the Bishop's Creek for quite a long time to get back. But there's a giant Tesco there I want to check out anyway. Um, but it's still in Keeksbury. Oh, and there's the barber, Jeff. Jeff, isn't it? Hmm. We'll see how today goes. I think I should have taken the bike. <laughs> well, I didn't really pay attention to the way we came, but it's actually a very pleasant little journey, very rustic. And now I think, uh, I'm not sure where we are, to be honest. Um, but we're only two or three miles from Bishop's Cleave. Uh, when I come to Bishop's, if I ever have to go to Bishop's Cleave on a bike, I think this is where I'll come. It's um, lots of speed restrictions and everything on the way. It's mostly 30 mile an hour limit. But, uh, that's the great thing about the interceptor is uh, it's good for puffering. Very nice, look how rural it is. I think I'm not sure this I'm not sure where I am to be honest, but heading in the right direction. <laughs> Bit of a relief. Starting Google Maps, that this is Stoke Orchard, we're just leaving Stoke Orchard to go to uh, on the road to Bishop's Peak. Looks like it might rain, it's a bit of a shame. Couldn't be more convenient. Sorry. That couldn't be more convenient. So let's go. I've got about an hour to kill. So I'll go and check out the big Tesco's. Well, that was quite interesting. Um, it's obviously bigger than Morrison's in Kingsbury. And um, go back later and get. Um, we've got a whole breast chicken Kiev, which I can't be really bothered to make for myself. So I'm going to get some of them. Um, I wasn't hugely impressed, I mean, it's fine, it's not worth the bus journey then. I'd rather go to Sainsbury's in Cheltenham. Um, right, now, about half an hour to my jab. 
I'd better go and check out where I can get the bus back to Tewksbury. I have no idea. So I'd better go and make some effort to find that out, I suppose. Opposite where I'm having a jam, there's a little park here where you can come and have a sit down. Um, I don't know Bishop Steve at all, but obviously it's bigger and busier than Tewksbury. A little too much like London for me. <laughs> But I, can't, I didn't realise, I honestly didn't realise how big and busy it was. Oh, that's a nice looking house. Nice little thatch cottage. It's obviously some age place. Um, I thought it was more or less a new town because of the, uh, the huge housing states around it. But, uh, it's actually quite pleasant. I mean, I don't object to it at all. I mean, you don't see many of these wooden buildings around. I like that. Hmm. I've had my booster chat. Um, but the information provided by the sport is totally confusing. With a bit of luck, there's one at 10.30, 10.40. Teach me beats, you are here. Teach me beats. 10.40. Fingers crossed. Excellent, well I've got my booty um, and uh, 10 minutes to spare before the bus is due if I've read the thing right, which I probably... It's a shame I haven't got a bit more time if uh, I've read the clock right Over there is a big thing that says factory outlet I've no idea what factory is but I always find factory outlets interesting because of the reduced prices <laughs> um, very efficient at Badham's. I just went in, they took my name, jabbed me out. If you wanted a flu injection as well, which I think I've already had, I can't remember, I had so many bloody jabs recently. Uh, you had to fill in the form, but I'm pretty sure I've had it. I'm not some sort of nice place, look, Tarling's Yard. I mean, I've no idea what that is. But anyway, a few minutes till the bus is supposed to arrive. We'll see what happens. Get a 42 or a 43, but might not be running it. Right, um, total confusion, but this is a 1040 to Chiefs <laughs> Ridge. So it actually all went out rather well. It went very well, it went one of my expeditions. Unbelievably well. <laughs> Right, it's 20 past 11, I left on the 9 o'clock, I'm back in Teesbury. More by luck than judgment, you have to say. Um, but that was great. Was it worth it to go, just to go to Tesco's? No, I wouldn't probably just do that. But I had that Covid jab to get, so it was worth it. So, that's it, see you on my little adventure. See you in the next